Okay, Pete and I are going to fly to Shopton. Hi, Pete, how are you? Good morning, Brian. Excellent. So we're going to uh, get our taxi clearance, check ATIS, and uh, go on out. So we'll leave you to it, Pete. Go on. Okay, eight is already got, so we're just, we've just we got information from Papa QNH 1026, and we're just going to give them a call. Call, Papa, call, request. I don't know why it's gone wrong. Right. Tower, good morning, November 4, Mike Lima, request radio check and taxi, information Papa QNH 1026. November 4, Mike Lima, Oxford Tag, good morning, QNH correct, report at Holding Point Juliet. Holding Point Juliet, November 4, Mike Lima. Okay, we're cleared to Juliet, which is just around the corner here, so the tower can see us. Coming up to Juliet, Pete's going to report we're here, and tower hopefully will give us an hour clearance. And November 4, Mike Lima, Holding Point Juliet. November 4, Mike Lima, thank you, taxi, Holding Point Charlie, enter runway 29. Holding Point Charlie, enter 29, November 4, Mike Lima. That's it, so... Uh, Pete, what's your hope for this flight today? That we survive. Excellent. That's the first priority of flying. No, actually, one of my students yesterday said, because we were talking, he said, we need to make it a boring flight. We don't want the flight to be exciting. We want the views to be exciting, but yeah, not exactly. the flight itself. Well, that's quite a good, good view of the world. So we've done the run up and uh, we're going to go up to Charlie and wait for our takeoff clearance with BFR today. The aircraft on the right there is a training airplane, a twin, which is looking for an IFR clearance, I think. There's a twin landing. And I'm before Mike Lima, holding point Charlie, ready for departure, negative backtrack. November 4, Mike Lima, Roger, hold it, Charlie. Holding Charlie, November 4, Mike Lima. So there's the twin on the roll, so Pete's clearances, he can... When the lights go out. ...line up behind. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that true? Right. Yeah, November 4, Mike Lima. You got me? Stop lights. <laughs> <laughs> he switches them on and off, does he? Yep. I never knew that. Uh, Sometimes they forget. Yeah. Uh, but the, although we're clear to line up behind, we still can't cross the stoplights. Got you. Got you. November 4, Mike Lima. Traffic in the climb out. Seneca turning right to the northwest. IFR. Runway 19, clear for takeoff, right turn out. Surface and cop. Clear takeoff, right turn out. November 4, Mike Lima. So there's the windsock, and you can see it's uh, a little. A little bit from the left, we're going straight out, nice and clear, Golf, any problems, we'll sort it from there. Golf, Bravo, Golf, Roger. Golf, Bravo, Golf, confirm your destination. Uh, local flight, Golf, Bravo, Golf. are alive. So that's uh, us in takeoff. Exactly. So cheerio. Okay, we're back with you. Pete's uh, got us up at 1,000 feet, making a right turn. We're avoiding the Bride airspace, which is ahead of us. We're rolling. What altitude are you flying today, Pete? Uh, let's try 3,000 feet. See if we can get above this slight inversion layer. Yeah. Uh, information. Temperature here is uh, 15, so we'll see whether correct. notice any difference. Oxford, morning to Gamma 379, 4 miles, 19. Gamma 379, Oxford, morning. I don't know if you can see it, but we're passing Blenheim Palace. Gamma 379. Uh, because Garmin haven't allowed us to see what's being shot through the camera anyway, easy. I don't know whether you'll see that.
So Pete, how are you going to approach Shopton here? What's uh, the key thing? Well, we need to find out from them which runway they got in use. Yeah. And if they have any preferred joints. Some of these small airfields like an overhead joint, another peculiar British yeah. invention. Uh, otherwise, from where we're heading, you may have we would prefer to make a straight-in approach. We would. Well, let's hope for that. Okay, we'll sign off for now and we'll show you the landing. Discretion, instant wind, light and variable from the south. I'll I'll put these on peach I have wreck. Yep. Yeah. We might as well be seeing because it's a bit yep. murky. Yeah. So Pete's taking us on to final approach. We're uh, about six miles out. You can see the airfield ahead perhaps. <laughs> can't, can't see what this camera is shooting yet, but uh, airfield information, uh, recognize that we're on final. There's one other guy that's ahead of us and parachuting away in the area to keep a good good eye out. So Pete, Shobden, how long is the runway and what's your approach here? Uh, the runway is just over 800 meters. We're just positioning, measuring our distance out from the airfield. So at about five miles we're going to be on the glide slope, nearest approximation. And we're going to use two stages of flat for the actual landing just to be sure that we can get up near the intersection. Sounds good. And here we go, five miles, so it's, yeah, now. it's not really air traffic control, so the landing is not clear to land, it's a land your discretion. So Pete will make the choice. Uh, taxi holding point alpha via the grass taxiway, two six left They're just powering back, slowly bring the speed back, he's gone in with the second stage of flaps. J model Moonies only have two stages of flaps. They don't do a lot, but they're there. This airplane has speed brakes, but we're not using those today. And the wind looks like it's a crosswind from the left at 11 knots. You'll see Pete using a little bit of left rudder once we approach the short final. Not that they can see you using the rudder, but bullshit. Yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk about it. <laughs> So that, folks, is one mile. Somewhat deceiving on a smaller airfield, but uh, compared to Oxford, it's uh, short and narrow. But that's a mile there. So we're at 70 knots now. Just adding some power. Here is down. Extra drop forward. All good. And it's our discretion to land. Go for the numbers. Nice, that's us. Altitude. Flaps go up. Zero. Nice landing, Pete. That's good. Well, here we are, folks. November 4, Mike Lima, when ready, 180 backtrack. 180 backtrack, November 4, Mike Lima. I'll keep recording this because this is interesting. We're going to backtrack. Only turning left. And you can see the airfield here. Busy place, but a very nice airfield. Runway is very good. Huh? I hadn't realized it was this nice. Left on the side. We'll go November 4, my neighbor. So there you go. Great help here in Britain. But we do convert from tarmac to grass quite often. Anyway, this is uh, Bri, the CFI, saying cheerio. Pete, thanks for taking us here. Welcome, sir.